Leçon 3. Les adjectifs. Today we are going to begin with adjectives. Before we start this week's lesson, let us define what an adjective is. An adjective describes a noun. This definition also applies in French. However, an adjective is pronounced and spelled differently depending on the noun. Nouns in French are feminine and masculine. Therefore, an adjective is dependent on the noun. Let's go over some examples. Marc est américain. Marie est américaine. As you can see, there is a difference between the two adjectives. Marie is a female, therefore there is an extra E at the end. This is commonly seen with adjectives when placed with a feminine noun. In French, there is also a plural form of adjectives. Here are some examples. Ils sont américains. Elles sont américaines. As you can see, it is the same as the singular form of the masculine and feminine. However, there is an S added at the end. Let's go over nationalities. To describe one's nationality in French, one must use adjectives. There is a masculine and a feminine form of adjectives in French. Before you there is a list of some adjectives and the first word on the list means American. We'll start with the masculine form in French. Américain. Américain. Feminine form. Américaine. The second word on the list means English. Anglais. Anglais. Feminine form, anglaise, anglaise. Third word on the list means French, français, français. Feminine form, française, française. The fourth word on the list means Spanish. Espanol. Espanol. Feminine form, Espanol. Espanol. The fifth word on the list means German. Allemand. Allemand. Feminine form, Allemande. Allemande. The next word on the list means Swiss. Suisse. Suisse. Feminine form? Suisse. Suisse. The next word means Japanese. Japonais. Japonais. Feminine form? Japonaise. Japonaise. The next word means Italian. 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 Feminine form? Italienne. Italienne. Next word means Belgian. Belge. Belge. Feminine form? Belge. Belge. The next word means Mexican. Mexican. 
Mexican. Feminine form, Mexican. Mexican. The next word means Canadian. 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 Next one, Chinese. Chinois. Chinois. Chinoise. Chinoise. The next word means Russian. Rus. Rus. Feminine form. Rus. The next word means Korean. 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 Feminine form. Korean. Korean. Now we're going to learn how to use adjectives to describe appearances of a person or an object. Let's take the word bo. It is in the masculine singular form and it means beautiful. The feminine form is pronounced belle. As you can see, the feminine form for beautiful is totally different from the nationalities that were shown to you before, where one had to just add an E at the end. The difference is that the feminine form of beautiful is completely a different word. In these cases, one has to memorize and familiarize themselves with the feminine and masculine form. For the masculine plural form of the word bo, there is an X added at the end. This is a common rule in French when the masculine singular adjective ends with the letter U. For the plural form, one adds an X. However, for adjectives such as vieux and gros, the plural masculine form is the same as the masculine singular. Here's a list of more adjectives. We'll start with the masculine and move on to the feminine. Listen carefully and repeat. Bo. Bo. Belle. Belle. Gros. 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 Le. Le. Led. Led. Grand. Grand. Grande. Grande. Petit. Petit. Petite. Petite. Jaune. 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 Vieux. Vieux. Viel. Viel. La négation. La négation forms negative sentence in French. There are two words you need to learn. Ne pas. These two words surround the conjugative verb that should turn in negative. Here's an example. Ils ne sont pas américains. Which means they are not American. This is an important grammar rule that you need to remember in French. Ne plus the conjugative verb plus pas. Since ne is always before the verb, there is sometimes the ne would change to an n apostrophe, only in front of vowels. An example is, il n'habite pas à Paris. 